So here we are back in the machine. I've done a whole bunch of uh, updating, uh, building out the file system, things that take a while. Uh, so let's go quick, take a look at that. I, I looked at MDStat to see where we were. We, we have, uh, you know, <laughs> a much higher amount of time to go. And, and that's interesting because uh, you'll notice the speed automatically throttles back and forth uh, depending on how much you use the disk. In this case, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing a lot of files into the file system about uh, probably... Uh, 16 gigs or so of data into the file system, so it's uh, it, you know throttled the the resync back. Um, doesn't really matter as I'm sitting here idly; it'll it'll uh, uh, build back up. Uh, we'll take a look at that in, the, in a little bit. So uh, I created this uh, directory called Zero. I, I popped into it and I uh, I untarred uh, my here's the VMFS. It's my file system. Tar, and I just untarred it in here, and, and so here's my uh, my root file system. I have some stuff in, in boot. Um, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, mount dash T proc proc proc. So this means mount uh, as type proc the uh, file system uh, proc onto this directory proc. It's kind of confusing. Uh, and then I mount dash o bind, so I bind the uh, live CDs dev into my file systems dev, and then I change root dot because the, I'm in the zero directory. So I change root this local directory here, uh, in and I execute bin bash, and so now it's as if I'm I'm using my new file system. So all these this little cd command is going to execute from my new file system and all, and it looks like I'm in the root. Um, so I, I pop over the configuration settings, I, I edit my net file, my host name, I set myself up, um, take a look at some, uh, some other things around there. Um, and then I uh, do grub, I, I, you know, I can't show this right now, but uh, I grub these disks and I, I set up HD0 and HD1. Uh, that of course doesn't show up in my little history on my terminal here. Um, and then I, uh, I sync the disk and then I, I, we take a look at our, our MD stat here and it's slowly, slowly going up. Still got a long ways to go. Um, and, then we, uh, and then we go from there. The, a lot of these things are, are just dealing with my um, uh, SSH setup. I, I wanted to make sure that in etc. SSH I didn't have files that had the, the word key in them because that would have been... Uh, some other machines key, so I had deleted those, I was checking that. And I, I uh, popped out and I popped back in again and I, I reset my password, for, forgotten to do that, add my, myself, I actually already existed. And then uh, then I pop out of that, I exit that shell, so we're back to the live CDs root, and then I unmount uh, boot proc and dev boot, uh, I had uh, mounted boot before, which is MD0, just so I could get those files into MD0. Um, and then I sync, and then I uh, restart the machine. Um, on reboot, uh, I can I can go back to this machine, um, and of course I uh, run this on another port. Um, so now I'm back in the machine, and and you'll notice it's called Node Two. Uh, so in this machine, we're going to cat uh, proc. MD stat, and we'll see see where we are. Okay, we're we're 12.8 percent there. We're we're slowly getting there. Uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, you'll notice I have uh, three directories: one, two, and three. Uh, so I'm just going to mount dev uh, mapper volume group zero logical volume one onto one, and uh, oh, I've already mounted it. Might have been smart to check. So I've got. Uh, uh, Logical volume one, two, and three all mounted. They're ext4 on you know root one, two, and three, just so I have access to my uh, slices here. And if we do uh, disk free uh, human, we can see that uh, I've got about 4.8 gigs or so uh, in each of one, two, and three. So I've got my whole file system. And indeed, if you take a look. At one, that looks like a root file system. Two, that does two. Three, that they're identical. But I go in there and I set up, set them up the way the way that I want. And now these will be the root file systems that uh, will be used by uh, Zen when when Zen starts up.
So if you'll uh, notice over here in uh, Zen Scripts, I have, uh, here's an ls of that directory, I have uh, this file called Network Bridge, this little script called Network Bridge, and I've, I've edited it. So if we take a diff of Network Bridge uh, and Network Bridge tilde, you see that I've added a space um, right there. And, and that has to do with uh, what's going on. It's running the IP command, it's address show, and it's uh, pulling up the device that we're talking about. And if we were to grep across uh, everything that has INET in it, you'll get INET and you'll also get INET 6, because I have IPv6 uh, compiled in the kernel. Uh, so to get around that, uh, you just you put a space there and then it'll, it'll get around that. So that's just a um, sort of an implementation specific thing. And then uh, the, the last thing was something that I uh, actually had to um, build myself, and that, that's this file here, network, I called it multi-bridge, this is a new file that I made. Uh, and basically what I'm trying to do with this is uh, I need to bridge my uh, ETH0 and my ETH1. Uh, Gentoo, uh, or, or uh, Zen rather, comes with just uh, ETH0 sort of set up automatically. So I'm doing, I'm bridging uh, uh, ZenBR0, this bridge to uh, ETH0, and ZenBridge1 to ETH1. So this just allows, it's, it allows me to access both physical devices. Um, so let's take a look at how this uh, plays when we have a machine. So I, my config files here, I should show you what I got. Just a bunch of standard files, and then you'll see all those uh, uh, VM1, 2, and uh, 3 here are my uh, config files. So let's look at VM1. So this describes a machine, it's called FS2. This will be a free switch machine. Uh, I pull my kernel from there, so in boot I have that. Uh, and that's just a, it's a Linux, so it's not. Z, it's not compressed. Um, doesn't really matter, you can boot a compressed kernel, but uh, there we are. So, uh, memory as usual, four CPUs, virtual CPUs rather, and here are my virtual interfaces. I have uh, my standard one here, but I also added comma this, which is, uh, you know, brings, gives me one as well. So I have access to both Ethernets. And of course the disk, I'm using volume group zero, logical vol volume one, and I'm showing that up to the operating system as STA1, and it's writable. Uh, so that's how uh, Zen is configured. So let's take a look at uh, how this actually works uh, when we launch our machine.